so usually I just check real quick to see if there's uh, like how long it is before the intro in terms of like where I'm recording and everything. So I went ahead and just watched like the 10 seconds before the intro plays. And Joko really pulled like a, you guys might be wondering how I got myself into this mess. Meanwhile, most awkward father-son reunion of all time might be occurring. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we could check in with literally anybody else. So let's just wait, stop wasting time and get into it. Drop a like on this one. Let's go. <gasps> oh, he's outside with them now. Perfected form of Maki. Oh, that's a good way to put it. He's just standing there. He doesn't even know what he's fighting either. <gasps> Who he's fighting. <laughs> Fleeing hairs? Oh, he can sense it from there. That's the slogan of the... Like fleeing rabbits! There's a storm of them! No! Oh my gosh, there's so many. It's like ants. Look at them all run! They're so cute! I hope they don't get hurt. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my god! Look at them rabbits! <laughs> One came swinging in! Bro! Yo, the, oh my god! These rabbits got hands! No, he's gonna kill all of them. No! I saw its eyeball! Peter's gonna be pissed, bro. <gasps> Dude! Sakabi. Panda! He's searching! Are they gonna have to back up Megami? <laughs> to sorcerers he is! To curses he is! Aw, don't talk to him like that. <laughs> oh my, that is shameless! Shameless! Look at him skip around! No, for real! <laughs> Be thorough. At least this guy can recognize his own, own shamelessness. <laughs> oh. Who is that? Who are you? Oh, they're setting up a fight. Oh, shoot. Some panda action, baby! Oh. Oh, back to Megami. And father. Dude, he's like scrambling to even breathe. He's just throwing. Okay, dude. Okay. This isn't even a fight. Like, this is actually not a fight. He's just trying to run. Oh! He has to attack. The more running, he's just wasting energy. Oh, shoot. It is the principle. I like this animation style change. Like, you can tell. Damn! Here's the water and the electricity! Speed is on par with Sukuna, bro. It's probably not like full form Sukuna, but still. No, the bodies! Oh, he slipped in. Wait. Oh, he got him! He got him! What did he realize? <gasps> he realized who he, who he was! He was talking to the old man! The stop motion man! He only just now realized it. Ooh. Uh. What? Because he escaped the Zinni. He just killed himself! What the f? <gasps> He's gone! He was happy! That his son didn't end up in the Zinning clan. Oh my god, that's so sad. He actually cried. He, he shed a tear. That's it? Oh, come the f on, man. Oh my god, this stupid butcher. Dude, this shameless third party behind the back backstab is so lame. It was the two girls. Wait, what? They're alive? Oh, this is a flashback. I see. So was this a whole group trying to get Ghetto back? So they're not even directly working for like, like uh, Ghetto or anything. Oh, well, I guess they were. <laughs> I was about to say he's a panda. <laughs> he's trying to elongate how long they're just standing there. Dude, this soundtrack goes so hard. Oh, wait, what? What just happened? What is going on in Shibuya? Oh. Oh my god, I forgot about Jogo. I'm guessing it's not going well. Oh, Jogo! You got this, baby! Come on! Oh, 
Oh my god. It's not even close, is it? Can he do anything against him? Oh my gosh. He's just being thrown around like a toy, man. He wanted this. He wanted to resurrect Sukuna. Eight or nine. He's the equivalent of eight or nine. He gave him 10 and he already had four or five. I mean, like dog. What do you think would happen? He knew he would lose. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He's surfing! What magma! Oh my gosh, man. There's so much to look at. Brother! Dog, he's a demon! <laughs> this is so insane. This to this extent is on another planet, solar system, universe, existence. This is it, dude. Jogo's gonna die. Oh my gosh. His mouth is gone. With all due respect, guys, there's like a nuke going off right now. Bunch of elephants tap dancing. Yeah, for real. Oh my gosh. It is Shogo! He's skating! Narapanda! Oh my god, they have to listen to him. They actually have to. Not Panda! Not Panda! Oh, he's so demented! Run! Bro. <laughs> he's just sitting there! Why doesn't he? Yeah! Oh, well that, that's fair. By not even trying. He's gonna le leave him alive? Oh my. What was the square? What? You can just spawn flames? Revealing my technique. We haven't seen his technique? He's literally just having fun. It's like a fire bending. What is real anymore? <laughs> oh my gosh, man. I know it's about to end. Oh, I. <laughs> is he already dead? Mahito is that mirror? He looks so sad. This is so sad. That's what he always said. He's here with him? He just gets it. <laughs> What's the difference? Oh, he's that's a strong praise, man. Probably the strongest to Jogo, too. The king would say that to you. Damn. He's already gone. Uh. Urame. Yeah, sure, man. The butcher! Wait, what's happening? Oh, look at me! Who is that? Why can't they be like 50 minute episodes, man? These legs with the, the bands around them. Obviously not on the curses side, but what? Oh my gosh, I gotta take that whole fight in. Like it, it even started the episode with Megami and, and Toji, and that was even a lot. I mean, I gotta rewatch that entire sequence with the rabbits, but my goodness. And then just the entirety of Jogo and Suga. It was two fights actually in the same episode where it was so heavily outmatched and two just complete conclusions to the fights that gave us a good sense of character for several people who Sukuna is how he sees curses how he sees the world i guess like him saying that it's stupid that he would even want to be in the same role as humans instead of just leveling the playing field killing as many people as he could and just sort of resetting society which when Sukuna says it i, I think the same thing i'm like why did the curses or do the curses care so much about so society sort of retaining what it is and then them just sliding into where humans are Sukuna's right i mean they're they're all evil and wrong in their own way but 
with their reasoning, Sukuna's right to Jogo. It is sort of weird or desperate how he tries to sort of stay in that gray line or gray area of keeping society as a whole while also destroying one giant part of it that keeps it structurally sound. And dude, just not, I said not to mention Toji just offing himself after finding out that his son wasn't just enveloped by the Zenin clan. Really powerful moment that just went by like so fast. It didn't wait on it or anything. He just killed himself, died. That's it. GG. But also really powerful. I mean, to take a character of that caliber and just toss him back out like he was never here in Shibuya to begin with. I'm, my goodness, man. Used to his best effect. He would have overstayed his welcome. But it was even more powerful how short he was here once he found out where his son was. It made it that much more impactful. But man, the Shibuya incident continues to just pop off. This is just madness. And I'm eating up every second of it. Not to mention also the, probably like the most tense moment of the episode him making them all stand there until he said now like that is that is the pinnacle of jujutsu kaisen is just chaotic moments like that and them being fast enough to get away and oh my gosh man i can't praise this show enough guys that has been my reaction to thunderclap i hope you'd enjoy drop a fat like on this one and i'll see you in the next one peace peace